Why David Benavidez Should Stay Away From Dimitri Bival And Artur Betterbiff Where Was All That Monster Tagging And Boxing Beast? Was David Benavidez Not Supposed To Be The Supposed Monster? He Should Stick To Doting On Canelo's Name Or Risk Getting A Brutal Defeat If He Thinks He Is Match For Artur Betterbiv Or Dimitri Bival. If David Benavidez thinks the 175 weight class is going to be easy, he is in for a disappointment and will become the latest boxing victim. Imagine all that monster nickname, and then trading punches with the 37-year-old Ukrainian Oleksandr Gvozdik. Stand and trade like this with Artur Betterbiv or Dmitry Bival, and you are in for a 12-round beating or first knockout loss. David Benavidez might be a weight bully, but Dmitry Bival or Artur Betterbiv will hand him a boxing lesson he has never experienced before. Just ask Saul Canelo Alvarez who thought he was going to win. Please watch this video to the end as I analyze why David Benavidez won't last long against Bival or Betterbiv. David Benavidez is a talented fighter with an impressive record, but he has certain weaknesses that Artur Betterbiv and Dmitry Bival could exploit to their advantage in the ring. These vulnerabilities, if not addressed, could be the deciding factors in a potential matchup with either of these elite light heavyweight champions. Let's take a look at his first match in the light heavyweight again. I mean, you can't even knock out Caleb Plant, something Canelo did with ease. David Benavidez's recent performance against Oleksandr Gvozdik has left many fans and analysts questioning his readiness for the elite fighters in the light heavyweight division. Although Benavidez secured the win, his performance exposed several vulnerabilities that could be exploited by more formidable opponents like Artur Betterbiv and Dmitry Bival. First, Benavidez's defense appeared shaky against Gvozdik. He absorbed more punches than expected, often leaving himself open to counterattacks. This lack of defensive solidity could be disastrous against a power puncher like Artur Betterbiv, whose relentless pressure and knockout power have proven to be too much for many top-tier fighters. Betterbiv's ability to cut off the ring and unleash devastating combinations would likely overwhelm Benavidez, who showed a tendency to get trapped against the ropes during his fight with Gvozdik. Secondly, Benavidez struggled with Gvozdik's movement and footwork. Dmitry Bival known for his exceptional ring IQ and technical prowess, would pose an even greater challenge in this regard. Bival's ability to control the pace of the fight, create angles, and exploit openings with pinpoint accuracy would likely frustrate Benavidez, who needs to refine his own movement and adaptability in the ring. Additionally, Benavidez's stamina came into question as he appeared to tire in the later rounds against Vostik. Both Betterbiv and Bival are known for their endurance and ability to maintain a high pace throughout the fight. Facing either of these fighters would require Benavidez to be in peak physical condition, capable of sustaining his performance for all 12 rounds without fading. I get it, he came in with an injury because he didn't want to disappoint and was fighting under Gervana Davis undercard where he could get more popularity. I don't believe that phrase I did it for the fans. Nah. You did it for the money and to gain more awareness. Here is my assessment of him. Firstly, Benavidez's defense has shown significant gaps. He often relies on his offense to keep opponents at bay, but this approach leaves him exposed to counterattacks. Against a power puncher like Artur Betterbiv, this could be particularly dangerous. Secondly, Benavidez has struggled with footwork and movement in past fights. Dmitry Bival, on the other hand, excels in this area. Bival's superior ring IQ allows him to control the pace of the fight and create angles that disrupt his opponent's rhythm. Benavidez's lack of lateral movement and tendency to plant his feet could make him an easy target for Bival's precise and tactical approach. Bival's ability to move in and out of range seamlessly would expose Benavidez's slower footwork and make it difficult for him to land effective punches. Another critical weakness is Benavidez's stamina. In several bouts, he has shown signs of fatigue in the later rounds. Both Betterbiv and Bival are known for their excellent conditioning and ability to maintain a high pace throughout the fight. If Benavidez cannot sustain his energy levels, he will be at a significant disadvantage against these relentless fighters. Betterbiv, in particular, could capitalize on this by increasing his aggression in the later rounds when Benavidez is more vulnerable. 
Additionally, Benavidez tends to rely heavily on his powerful combinations to win fights. While this strategy has worked against lesser opponents, it may not be as effective against better Biv and Bival, who both possess strong chins and can withstand heavy punches. Better Biv's brute strength and resilience mean that he can absorb Benavidez's shots and continue to press forward, wearing him down over time. Bival's defensive skills and ability to evade punches would neutralize Benavidez's offensive assaults, forcing him to adapt his strategy. David Benavidez's defensive lapses, inadequate footwork, questionable stamina, and over-reliance on offensive power are weaknesses that Artur Betterbiv and Dimitri Bival can exploit. To compete at the highest level and challenge these champions, Benavidez must address these vulnerabilities and enhance his overall game. Otherwise, Betterbiv's power and relentless pressure, along with Bival's technical prowess and strategic acumen, will likely prove too much for him to handle in the ring. While David Benavidez remains a formidable fighter with great potential, his recent bout against Oleksandr Gvozdik highlighted areas that need significant improvement. Jumping into the ring with Artur Betterbiv or Dmitry Bival at this stage could be premature and potentially damaging to his career. Benavidez should focus on honing his skills, particularly his defense, movement, and stamina, before taking on the very best in the light heavyweight division. I don't know why many people think Canelo is ducking him. Manny Pacquiao did call out Floyd Mayweather for years, and eventually it will happen. If we are being sincere with each other, Canelo does not need Benavidez to be relevant or prove anything to anyone. It is David Benavidez who needs Canelo Alvarez, and this is the reason Canelo hasn't responded to him. In case you don't know, it is called waiting tactics, keep working and when the time is right, we will make it happen. But if David Benavidez thinks he will outwork Dmitry Bival or Artur Betterbiv, he is in for a lifetime schooling. Artur Betterbiv is a knockout artist and knows how to maneuver his way to connect that devastating punches. Maybe many of you have not noticed, Benavidez is like a lower version of Canelo, but what makes Canelo better is his head movement and defensive tactics. Even with Canelo's level of advancement, just look at the way Dmitry Bival schooled him without any problem. With David Benavidez, someone like Dmitry Bival, punching perimeters become easier. Gvozdik had success setting up his punch, but it was glaring he is no longer in his prime. The reason he got fatigued, and even Benavidez who is supposed to be younger, got tired in the later rounds. One thing I know for sure, Better Biv, Bival and Canelo do not tire. They will come pressing and pressing until they put you in the place where they want you to be. After then, they pounce on you and make you question your skills as a boxer. In my opinion, David Benavidez should get more tune-up fight at the light heavyweight before daring to face either of the Russians. Both are different beasts. They are calculated, defensive, and do not leave them open when launching their offense. And when they launching their punches, you won't even have time to respond back because their punches comes with pain. So what am I suggesting? Like Brian Bomack said, why is Frank Martin rushing to fight Gervonta Davis? Why not get more experience and then do it when you have faced different style? This is the case with David Benavidez. The Saudi money is good, but what about your longevity as a boxer? The fans who cheers you today will boo you tomorrow and say all sort of things when you are no longer winning. Or better still, come back to the super lightweight, keep beating guys and put Canelo in a situation where he has no choice than to fight you. Maybe after you beat Canelo, move up to contest at the light heavyweight. But if you think otherwise, let me know your thought in the comments section. Like, share and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Punchcraft Corner. Stay punching guys.